Good morning. Hey, Jody, how are you? Come on in. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to TransWest. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Frederick. My contact information, uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh-oh, I think I'm uh, actually, there we go. I was live on live, it was gonna be Echo. Anyway, um, so we're here in TransWest Frederick. Today we're gonna go over, uh, honestly, probably my favorite RV of all time. Um, this is a 2021 Newmar, and this is a new air. Uh, the new air is, the reason it's my favorite um, is because it's a coach that can get you into pretty much anything. Uh, so there's some interesting park restrictions out there in the world. Um, one of which is if you're too long, you can't get into certain state parks. So 35 feet is a kind of a hall pass to get into most places. This is a 35 foot coach. Now it's 35 feet, uh, 10 inches, but it's 35 feet. Uh, the other hall pass to get into like MCC and all of those really glorious, um, you know, kind of top of the line five star parks is 36 feet. So it's 35 feet, 10 inches long, which is if you round it 36 feet. So. This is kind of a hall pass to get into everything. Um, and not only that, it's got great towing capacity, a lot of power, um, but most importantly, it has got panache. Uh, this is the Opus interior. It's the Opus exterior, uh, perfect for a bottle of Opus One uh, to celebrate Valentine's Day. So I thought we'd do something special for the week. We do a Valentine's Day couples coach. So come on back and I'll show you around. Um, First and foremost, as you walk down these hallways, you'll notice that we've got this beautiful high gloss trim. Um, this is something that's unique to certain levels of our product line here at Newmar. Um, so it's just a really beautiful kind of sparkly interior. Uh, and then we'll just kind of pan around and take a look at this really beautiful bedroom. Uh, so first and foremost, you've got these really beautiful backlit sconces um, surrounding your headboard. You'll notice that there's a screen behind your headboard and behind that there's actually an emergency release window and you still have these nice windows for cross ventilation but look at how they're adorned with that hardwood. I mean they're just so nicely decorated. Um, they come in a uh, very classy look. Um, just a really really high-end beautiful coach. Again this is the Opus One interior. Um, there's some important features. Um, I don't know if you can get up here, Jody, with me in the way, but there is a outlet right here, a 110 outlet. So if you've got a CPAP machine, um, this is your pass-through right here to the exterior. Um, all of these overhead storage compartments are carpeted, and it's just a really, really nice, super solid maple uh, trim. Uh, so this maple is you know, not only is it decadent looking, but it's functional, it's, it's sturdy, and that's important. Um, then next we have our really nice nightstands. And next to our nightstands we have uh, storage. So if you wanna keep a water bottle down there, you can. Uh, it's a good place to keep things next to the bed on both sides. And then I'm gonna open up this back uh, sliding glass door. So you've got an ample closet, but I wanted to show you one of Numar's trademarks is going to be our safe. So not only do you have a ton of storage space in this coach and lots of hanging capacity, you've got a safe to keep all your valuables. Um, I love these dark uh, finished mirrors. I think that there's a really classy look. Um, and then you'll notice here we also have shoe storage and then two extra chairs for that dinette. There's an extra leaf as well. Um, so lots of room here to keep your shoes, to keep your clothing and a really just amazing high-end, very refined finish for a motorhome. Um, especially, it's so hard to find a diesel uh, pusher in a 35-foot length. Uh, we do make one, uh, we make a Country Star um, and a Canyon Star. The Canyon Star comes as a front-end uh, puller, but a pusher um, with 450 horsepower and uh, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque is almost unheard of. So this is just such a luxury. Um, of course, we do have our Splendid stacker washer and dryer. Um, I mentioned this to a lot of people. If you want to get cozy for Valentine's Day next to the campfire, it's so nice to have a place to come and put in your smoky clothes where you can't smell them throughout the coach. So really, really handy uh, amount of storage there for laundry and then, of, of course, just for keeping uh, the number of clothes you need to pack down to a minimum. 
Um, and then here you'll see, once again, just this beautiful high gloss wood finish. Um, this is, of course, where we keep your Blu-ray player. Uh, there's a bunch of outlets in here, so we can do a WineGuard satellite system if you want to do that, a Razer antenna, um, of course, good Wi-Fi systems, but for me, the Blu-ray the Blu is probably enough. We don't watch a lot of TV while we're camping, um, but Lord, if you did, look at the size of this television. How beautiful is that? Um, and then look at these storage drawers. I mean, how amazing. Uh, this is just such a great capacity. Jody, I'll open a few of them so you can kind of get in and show everybody how deep they are. Um, but look at how long this drawer is. This is really, really clever on Numar's part. So what they've done is they've staggered um, this back dresser. So you have all of these drawers. And now please note, everything is soft close. So very, very high end finish there. But it's just nice to have a little extra place to put some things down in the morning, maybe when you're getting ready, or even just a place to sit down and put your shoes on. Uh, really acts as kind of a bench or a chair. So really helps to get dressed. Um, this, in this interior is um, really unique in this size of a segment. Um, we have the Dutch Star and um, the Ventana. We have the Country Star, we have Canyon Star. Uh, but when we get into our bigger diesel pushers, we get into things like the Mountain Air. So this interior finish is very similar to that of the Mountain Air. And it's interesting because if you look at the smallest or the, the shortest Mountain Air that we carry, it runs about $662,000 equally equipped. This coach comes in at $492,000. That's almost $200,000 less for a lot of coach. Um, you'll notice that we have all of those really nice, like the padding that you have on the ceiling is here on the sconces surrounding. Uh, we've got power blinds, so power day and night shades on this coach. Um, so all of these high-end finishes that you really only see in our higher-end coaches, and this is about $200,000 less than they are. Jody, if you want to step back, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody this door. Um, I love, this is a really classy element. Uh, we have, of course, we pride ourselves on our Amish craftsmanship uh, out in Napanee where these coaches are built and assembled. Uh, our workers have an average of eight years on the job when they hand make each of these to order one at a time. Um, so putting glass into them isn't necessary because the wood is beautiful, but isn't this beautiful? Take a look at this, this door. How nice is that? Um, I just think that that is just such a classy element. It's so pretty, something you'd find in a high-end home. And if you, you know, think about it, you know, when you're getting older, you want to have less space to maintain, but you want to have comfortable space. So this is really uh, very much that same thing. Like maybe you sell your four bedroom house and you buy one that's one or two bedrooms so that you can downsize. And you can do that here in the new era without having to downsize in terms of quality. So we're going to come in here. One of the things that differentiates this model over others as well is that you've got a full tile finish. And you'll also notice that we have that rain head shower head. And we have a really nice bench here. I like to sit in these just to show people how much room you have. So this is a 40 by 32, so you can be a really big guy. Um, and then in terms of height, this ceiling is six foot nine inches. So instead of having, um, it's 7.9 in the bedroom, but instead of having something tight, you actually have plenty of room, lots of room here from a width standpoint really nice uh, you know finish where you've got your body wash conditioner and shampoo well mounted and also a really nice built-in ledge to keep your soap on so this is really cool this is run by the aquamizer system um, you'll notice this is a glass shower door so once again uh, we've got our assist handle here this is all just higher end finishes than we'll find in most of these coaches and to find it in a coach that's so uh, so versatile is just really amazing. The other thing that makes this coach very versatile is, that, is the height. It's actually only uh, 12 feet tall. So it's 12'3 uh, on the exterior, which is really, really short, petite for a coach like this. Um, and then of course, Numar's uh, traditional, we like to have our emergency exit door. Uh, this pops right out. There's a ladder that extends from it. Um, there's ventilation here as well. And then overhead, you do have your uh, rain sensing, uh, fantastic fan. Uh, so super nice there. Uh, you can actually remove this door and load things, um, which I think is kind of handy if you want to bring your towels and, and toiletries in, or you could even load everything in, in from Costco. And then I love these toilets. So just 
nice solid toilet. Uh, this is a Dometic toilet. It actually has like the wand flush over here, so you can just put your hand in front of it. And then a ton of space for storage. And I love these solid surface countertops with the sparkle in them. They really tie in nicely to your glass tile backsplash. Of course, you've got your towel holder. You've also got a place for your robe. And then a really nice, huge medicine cabinet right here that is backlit, but lots of room. And I mean, how classy is that? You know, all carpet lined. There's a outlet down here in the bottom right hand corner for your hair dryer, so you can actually stow it there and keep it there on the road. You don't have to, you know, wrap it up and find a drawer to stick it in. It can live right there. Um, but I love these backlit mirrors. I think it's just such a nice feature. So um, once again, this is a 35 foot coach with a ton of water. So we've got a 105 gallon water tank on board, 40 gallon uh, black water tank and a 60 gallon gray water tank. And this is a hydronic coach. So this coach has got not only heated floors in three different zones throughout the coach, it also has hydronic heating, which means you're gonna have a much quieter heating system that's running off of your diesel tanks. You've got a 90 gallon diesel tank, so you could really stay put for a long time. And in terms of boondocking, which is becoming more and more popular, um, this coach has four solar panels on it, and it's got eight lithium-ion batteries. So this is just a, this is just a power power powerhouse. Um, and I'm going to have Jody back up just so I could show you the refrigerator here, and we'll start on the kitchen side now that we've looked at the bathroom. So residential size uh, refrigerator with a ton of storage. I love that you have this extra door down here for meats and cheeses. Um, once again, this is the Opus interior, so if you're going to have a nice bottle of wine, you probably need to have a nice, you know, cheese plate as well. Great place to keep all that stuff. And then a really big uh, refrigerator and freezer with an ice maker, both. So a ton of storage here and underneath. And keep in mind, this has also got a Dometic outside, so we do have a refrigerator unit outside. And I'm going to slide past the refrigerator so I can show you the next great feature on this coach. Um, a dishwasher. So 35 feet doesn't mean that you don't have all of the luxury in the world. You still have a nice place. And you can keep your, your plates and uh, dishes in here while you're mobile. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually a great place for storage. And then of course, when this is not a remote drawer, you'll notice that it's got a great place for silverware. Um, this is to take on and off your whole house water filter. So you do have a full house filtration system. Um, and then there's remotes, like this box is for the one that actually operates the awnings outside. We've got the Gerard awnings open. It's a little breezy. I think one of them might've closed on us, but that's okay. They're wind sensing. Uh, here's your microwave and induction oven. So a lot of people ask me how this works. Really easy. You can preheat it and cook cookies. You can turn it off and microwave a burrito. You can go either or. It's all in one, super simple. Um, I do have this, the light on underneath here. And then it also has a ventilation fan as well. And then you'll notice we have nice cutting boards on the back of our stovetop covers. And this is covering a true induction uh, cooktop. The nice thing about this cooktop is you can actually lift it up and take it outside to your picnic table. It's fully removable. Um, and you'll notice how deep this countertop is. And it's in front of this really vast window. Now there is a day shade or night shade that comes down so you can make this whole entire uh, cab dark. So there's a shade for all of the windows. But this is just an enor enormous amount of space with a really lavish amount of room in your uh, sink with a residential size faucet. Uh, it's got the spray and uh, pour method. And also, once again, a ton of room. So really, really nice. Oh, we mentioned the Country Club. Uh, if you want their phone number, we're pretty proud of the fact that this coach can get in there. there it's right there on the door for you. Um, man, they've got some amazing places to stay. If you've never done that, you really owe it to yourself. And then here's just another testament to newers. Even in these like little smaller galley kitchens, it's really important to have better use of space. So they've gone to the, uh, the lengths of actually putting in pullouts. And then I'm just going to show you the rest of these drawers. I'll start from the bottom. So plenty of storage here. And then once again, everything is soft closed, no slamming. 
great place to keep your slide top covers on the right there. So they actually give you some storage for that. People say to me sometimes, why isn't there a place to keep your covers? And I said, well, if you spend enough, Newmark gives you a place for everything. It's just a, it's a matter of those upper level finishes and this coach has all of those finishes. So if you've never considered um, a new air before, man, come and drive one. Uh, there's five models, uh, three of which are gonna be uh, the 35 foot and then there's two that are 33. Uh, the 35 foot first came out in 2020 and initially we only had the 33 foot new air uh, and it came with a 360 uh, horsepower engine, had an 800 foot pound towing capacity and it was good for some people but it missed the mark for others. So when they came out with this 450 we really saw this influx of people who had never seen anything so powerful and useful in something this size. I mean this is just really jam-packed with all sorts of goodies and these are all adjustable and you can see I can just pull them out so far. I mean my clipboard's really big so that, that gives you kind of a reference point. I mean that's a lot of stuff that you can keep in there and you can change the height of them so if you wanted to keep some shorter for soup cans and the like and then taller for olive oil and cereal boxes you're welcome to. And then you don't see this in a lot of these uh, mid-sized coaches. This is actually very much a Prevo-esque feature with your really beautiful um, cabinet that you can keep all of your liquor and your wine glasses. I mean this is just like I said really romantic way for you and your partner to get away and enjoy the, the countryside, enjoy you know the United States and all of the amazing wonders that we have to offer. Now when you are inviting friends into your house and you're saying this beautiful coach if you're not sitting here on your recliners we might want to stop and show these recliners Jody these are pretty spectacular. Um, I was going to show you the table and say you, you want to be able to entertain, entertain extra guests but maybe you don't maybe you just want to sit here and take a nice nap um, and you have a little place here to uh, you can see it on that side Jody to plug in your cell phone so you've got a USB port to charge which is really handy and then I love this um, really big center storage with a hidden storage underneath so this is awesome and then great cup holders now you don't have to leave the lights on if you want to be a little less flashy you can be boring and turn them off but there is mine's the blue one well, wait, no, I guess I'd have to sit on the right today because I'm doing the red, so we'd have to coordinate the outfit. Uh, anyhow, so how about board games up top, magazines, periodicals, anything that you might want to keep, your laptop perhaps, um, all of this storage up here. And once again, one of the best uh, attributes of Numar is going to be the high quality of craftsmanship. And just, I love, look at that sound. I mean, it's just solid wood. Uh, super, super cool. And then one thing I wanted to point out, so I've got the night, there's the day shade down right now. I do want to just show you these night shades. Now we're using the silver leaf system. So I'm just going to touch the house feature. I don't know if you want to see this, Jody, but I can kind of show you. So I'll touch the house button. I'm going to go to shades and then I can go kitchen day shade and I can push it and have it go down or I can push it and have it go up. And then I can also push that and have the night shades come down. And so it's just really cool. You've got a really, really easy to use, very smart system. Um, and then I'm going to do this right now, and I'm going to turn around, Jody, and I'll show you. Can we can show everyone the elevator going down. So that's going to allude to what I was mentioning earlier that we really have a nice system. If you want to have friends over, and you want to have a nice place to dine. There we go. We've got a beautiful kitchen area. And then uh, we have a leaf. And you can really bring this table out to a very generous size and have room for everybody uh, to eat. Now, the only reason I haven't um, set this up in advance and got the leaves installed is I'd like to show you how this coach looks when it's closed. Um, because I think that that's a really important aspect of it. And one thing that someone mentioned to me um, a while back, they had come in and they were actually trading in a brand new Integra because they missed their Numar. Um, and we actually hear that quite a bit. But 
they said, well, we're going to have to custom order it because we want the, the, the valances to taper at the bottom because the chairs bump up against them. And um, in this 2021 model, it's just a standard feature. You don't actually have to ask to have them tapered like this, but you've got this solid wood uh, finish above um, and these tapered valances. It's just a really, really beautiful decor. I love the Opus. Um, it's definitely daring, um, but it's, it's spectacular. So we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna take a look at underbed storage. And you can see this is where we keep those extenders. So you can see how big you could actually make that table. And then keep note too, this is a great place to keep winter coats, anything that you might need for extra storage underneath in terms of clothing. Uh, you must have a lot of clothes if you need to use this storage because man, there's a ton of closet space in this RV for two people, but who knows? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these slides in. And Jody, can you just show that little control panel just to the right there? Um, that's kind of a neat little place where we keep everything. So that control panel there is gonna show you things like, this is your heated uh, floors. Here's your water container or, or containment. Here's your generator, um, all of your power. You know, you can see everything that's going on in your RV. Uh, this coach does have a block heater, which is super nice too. Um, there's really not much missing uh, in this RV. So again, this is a 35 foot new air and by far probably my favorite RV. Um, like I said, there's five models, three of which come in that 35 foot length. And one of the things that we have to boast about in this model is that there's no carpet. And the way that we get out of having uh, this beautiful high polished floor, no carpet, is Newmar has uh, the star foundation. Now the star foundation is what gives this um, manufacturer the ability to build on a super uh, flat surface. Jody, why don't you go to the back? Is that okay? And I wanna show them how this floor lifts up and over the top of the tile. Um, and that's why we can have a full tile coach. It's a really big differentiating factor. So I'm gonna bring both slides in. And Jody, while we're, while we're doing this, if you want to pan down, right by your left shoe is the, uh, that's one of the vacuum hoses. That's where you would actually put your vacuum hose in. Because we do have central vac in this RV and I'm covering up the kick plate so we won't ever be able to see it in the video. Um, but central vac, dishwasher, short but powerful. Um, sounds like a dream coach to me. And so here we go all the way in. Um, so this is a lot of room. So while you're mobile, know the chairs don't fall over. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to tie them down. Uh, they're designed to be in this RV. Um, but you've got your Bose sound system here. So someone could very easily be sitting in a recliner, have the televator popped up, pop down the windows, watching a movie, going cross country, all of those things. Um, I am going to put my uh, scarf and coat on. Today uh, in balmy Colorado, it's like 14 degrees in the sun. So it's a little chilly out here, uh, but there's a lot to talk about on the outside. And uh, earlier it was really kind of funny. It was actually snowing uh, in the sun, which is pretty, but cold. So we'll get kind of bundled up here and move towards the front. But as you can see, like this is a lot of room, uh, plenty of room to get in and out. Um, one thing we're gonna talk about here in the front, um, so I'm gonna turn the generator off just for that little extra bit of noise. Uh, you've got your auto leveling jacks right here. Jody, I don't know if I, can you get past me to see that? And then you've got your power mirrors, which is nice left and right. And then you've got a power window. These are all standard features on uh, this RV, as is the lane assist, as is the, uh, the um, mobile eye. So what that means is not only do you have comfort steer, uh, electronic stabilization programs. You've also got a lane tracking package that will help keep you straight uh, beyond the fact that this RV, um, you know, a lot of people don't understand how incredibly 
beneficial uh, comfort drive is until they've done their first long road trip in a Newmar. This RV is designed to track forward. So this coach is pushing a lot of power from behind. And a lot of times in the wind, you're going to have to kind of fight that steering wheel to keep it straight in the lines. And this RV will do that fight for you. You don't actually have to do it, um, which is super nice. Um, another thing that we're going to have here, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it up and on. I've got, uh, you've got a keyless entry, right? So you don't have to have the key in the ignition. Um, but you've got an electronic dash here. Uh, and it shows you your tire pressure to all of your tires, which is super nice. Um, no, the check engine light's not on. I just don't have the coach actually started. But I love this electronic uh, gauge. If you have one of the you know, newer, more sophisticated German vehicles, you see this in a lot of those cars. It gives us a cap the capacity to show a lot more information uh, than you would normally see. So that's really nice here. Um, and then, of course, you've got, you know, you've got Bluetooth. You've got uh, voice control. You've got your serious uh, prep as well. You've got navigation. Everything is touch screen. Um, so, and you've got these larger screens. So this is just really beautiful. Um, visor control, shade control, um, all of those important things. This is where I stopped that generator. So you've got on and off right here. Um, little drawers are really handy to keep stuff in. And then of course, climate control for you and your guests. And then I love this overhead 360 degree camera. Now this is an optional feature. Um, to be very honest with you, it's not necessary, but it's nice. It's really nice. Um, I think that you know the rear view backup camera with the left and right uh, video is enough, but I think that that's pretty handy. Um, so on this right hand side, Jody, we're to show this villa uh, 60th anniversary. Uh, this is the queen's seat. I do have the desk out for us. And then I also wanted to kind of show off that monitor. And then right to the right of the monitor, if you wouldn't mind just showing, that little pad right there is where you'd charge your cell phone. So you don't need to have it plugged into anything anymore. You've got a lot of controls. You've got your own window, your own desks, heated seats. Um, I love, you know, the, um, the recliner aspect of this. They do pivot so you could have, you know, quite a few people, for instance, watching a movie, you could have four people very comfortably turning around. Everybody would have their own recliner. Um, it's pretty decadent, honestly. It's pretty darn decadent. Um, and then, of course, you know, we have a lot of extra storage up here. And it's really funny because I'm going to show these to you because sometimes they catch people off guard. There's uh, things going on underneath here, but the reason that they keep them all the same is so that you have this beautiful, um, you know, kind of symmetry throughout the entire RV. So you have all of your extra storage. Oh, up there, that's where you see, uh, that's going to be from your solar panels. That's your solar panel display. And then you'll notice, look at how compact we've gotten these days. So your wine guard system, your slide control, your awning system, your Gerard awning control uh, for both of your awnings, everything is right here in this little tiny compartment. It's just amazing how much we've been able to kind of condense the amount of information that we have. And then, really nice place to keep maps your cell phone your wallet anything like that that you might want to stow above and then once again we just used all of the space throughout the coach for everything that we might need great place to keep some extra sunglasses we got you know his and hers compartments um but super super awesome and again this is this is a really awesome rv if you're looking for something that's got a really nice high-end finish um like i love you know, this adjustable screen. If you want to hand something through the window, you can pull this on and, or up and down. And then on our way out, Jody, I'm going to just have you pause there because I'm going to close this uh, slide cover so, just so we can show. If we do have any furry friends traveling with us, you don't want them to fall into the hole. Really nice step cover right here. Super easy to get to, really fast. Uh, now, there is a lock. Uh, an unlock feature with your remote for this for these underground um, storage capacity or cabins and there's also a lock and unlock button right here when you put your parking brake on they will lock automatically I'm sorry when you put the when you put the RV into drive my bad okay so I know we've talked a little bit about the hydronic heating we talked about the engine. I want to make sure we've talked about the 90-gallon fuel capacity, 15-gallon uh, depth tank, 
eight house batteries, solar panels. Um, so super nice features. I love uh, this step. And you'll notice that the chrome trim is standard on the new air. It's not an optional feature. Um, these awnings over here all have LED lights to illuminate at night. The doorbell, of course, we already rang that earlier, pretty awesome. And then the key entry so that you can actually just key in your lock. You don't have to bring your keys with you. And we do have dual fill. And then here's that Dometic freezer or refrigerator. You can really choose what, how you'd like to run it. Um, I love that they've turned it sideways and given us a little bit of extra room. And then I just have a few of these slides out. This has all of the slide options. So I love this little short slide. It makes it so nice that you've got a power slide to get things in and out. You can put something nice and heavy on there. And it's easy to uh, stow. It's still snowing in the sun, Jody, just so you know. Um, and then once again, so this is an interesting setup to give us more room and to give us better slide access. Um, we actually have, there's some extra tiles there. Uh, your air hose is there as well. Um, so these compartment controls are here, and then they're over here on the other side. And it's interesting how these close. You actually close the middle drawer first. And all of these, of course, are lit by LEDs. So there, and then here's your television outside. Once again, another uh, sound bar, super handy. Um, we, we use a sound bar more than anything else, but it's a great place to watch a movie at night. Just the two of you. Here we go. And I do want to close this coach up because it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I should have brought the remote out. Well, we'll have to look at it closed with the awning out. Um, another nice storage compartment, again, outlets outside, LED lighting the whole way through. And another storage compartment. This would be a great place if you haven't seen these little uh, propane powered, uh, bar or not barbecues, but fire pits. This would fit perfectly in there. They're really handy. Uh, they are actually safe in a lot of the parks, even during uh, burn restrictions. And then right here we have, this is going to be your house uh, or your uh, on off switch for your entire coach. So you can actually turn this off when you're storing your vehicle. It will turn off the entire coach. And if we go around back, I'm going to show you, we have a 10,000 pound towing capacity on this RV. So this is a 450 horsepower, uh, 1,250 uh, foot-pounds of torque towing capacity with a 10,000 pound towing capacity on the hitch. It comes standard with this, uh, with the air, with the airline uh, for the air brake. Um, it's really, really pretty amazing. As you can see here, very loud and proud. This is a new air. It's got this beautiful mirroring on the back of the coach. Uh, nice, uh, it's part of your surround camera package for your 360 surround. And this is on the Freightliner chassis. Please note that you can also have this on a Spartan chassis. Um, there's a few differences for warranties. And honestly, um, I get a lot of people who ask me what the difference is. Um, it's preference. Do you like Mercedes or do you like BMW? It's preference. Um, I like both. I take a new air however you wanted to hand it to me. Uh, radiator over here on the side next to your 15 gallon def tank. 15 gallon def tank is a lot of capacity. Uh, that's really nice to have. Just means that you stop less frequently and fill up. Love that. Um, and now we're here to um, our water closet. This is, this is pretty cool. You'll notice that we have our digital display. We have an outdoor shower and we have a lot of room. This is a really luxurious uh, setup. This is the shower head, just so you know. And we do have this coach winterized right now, but we would be happy to make it uh, ready for you. Uh, there is a power hose reel for your fresh water, um, but so super, super nice, very easy to use. Uh, this does have the SantaCon system in it, so easy to clean. It has a self-cleaning uh, tank as well. And then here's that outside emergency escape hatch. And then this is your hydronic he heating system, and this is by Oasis. And this is really what makes everything uh, possible. This is what allows you to have hydronic heat. This is what allows you to have instant hot water, endless hot water. Um, and then right here you have your power hose reel. It's a 30 foot, 33 foot hose. Uh, it's 50 amp shore power, 
super luxurious. And then in your next cabin, we're just going to have the back side of some of those other uh, slides that we had out earlier. And I'll just close this as we go along. And then here's your eight batteries. It's a lot of batteries. And then one more diesel filling station right here. And then this is just kind of a testimony or a testament to Newmar's quality. The generator is going to be in the front of this coach. So this is where you would open that. But Look at how tidy everything is. It's very easy to access. It comes with some spare fuses, so if you need anything, you've got a few extras there. But once again, just a really nice feature. And then take a look at the front of this coach, Jody. It's got such a big windshield. It's really beautiful. So really big, beautiful. There's your front camera for your surround. Um, once again, this is the Opus. Uh, exterior and interior and absolutely one of my favorite RVs. Uh, this is stock number 5N201178. Again 5N201178. Um, it's a 2021 Newmar. We did make a video of this back in October. I'm surprised it's still here. Uh, please give me a call. Let me know what it takes to get it home in your driveway. How we can help get you on the road and camping. Like I said, this would be a great Valentine's Day treat for anybody. Uh, my name is again Katie O'Neill. I'm here in Frederick, Colorado at TransWest Frederick RV. And my number is 303-562-8659. Please feel free to text, call me, reach out. Let me know how we can really make your Valentine's Day all that much more special. Uh, we'd love to see you driving in what is my absolute favorite Newmar down the road. Thanks so much for visiting us. We'll see you next time.